You will need to remove the engine covers, red and yellow arrows, and the air intake ducts, green arrows, to perform this work. Please see our article and video on engine cover removal for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. If you are draining the coolant, you will need to remove the underbody trays to access the radiator drain plug as indicated by the red arrow. Again, please see our article and video on coolant draining and flush for additional information by following the link at the end of this video. One hose is located on the right front side of the engine bay, while the other is at the left rear of the engine, red arrows. The left hose is located between the MAF and the left cylinder head below the main wiring harness, red arrow but it's not visible. If you have really small hands, you may be able to replace the hose without removing the MAF, but it only takes a few minutes to remove and it makes the job so much easier. To remove the MAF, red arrow, and the vacuum line, yellow arrow, please see our article and video on MAF sensor replacement for additional information, again by following the link at the end of this video. Disconnect the breather hose from the rear of the right cylinder head, red arrow. Unclip the two plastic clips on the elbow piece between the MAF and the throttle body, red arrow, and remove the elbow and attached hose. You now have room to remove the heater hose. Use a flathead screwdriver and pry up the quick release clip on the heater hose as indicated by the red arrow. Use a flathead screwdriver and release the clip on the hose where it meets the firewall, red arrow. Depending on the brand of hose you get, you may need to transfer this quick disconnect to the new hose, red arrow. It is much easier and safer to do it with the hose out of the car. The heater hose on the front connects the hard line, red arrow, to the rubber line, yellow arrow. The hose is connected to the hose on the bottom of the water pump and can be removed from both the rubber hose and hard line with pliers, red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Do not forget to refill and bleed your coolant. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.